So who is giving this woman to be married to this man? Me. You were Jewish. Jewish. Thank you. He just said you can have it. If there is any person here, anybody whomsoever, who can show any just cause why these two may not be lawfully joined together, as God intended and as the scriptures prescribe, then we ask you to declare it now, or from this moment, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Now take you, Kalila. Now take you, Kalila. To be my wife. To be my wife. My lawful wedded wife. My lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Regardless of the circumstances. Regardless of the circumstances. Come better or worse. Come better or worse. Come riches or poverty. Come riches or poverty. Through sickness or health. Through sickness or health. I now promise you. Kalila, I now promise you, Kalila, that I will always love and cherish you. That I will always love and cherish you. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. In the good times. In the good times. And the not so good times. And the not so good times. And with God as our help. And with God as our help. I promise to be with you. I promise to be with you. Forever. Forever. Richard. I, Kalila. I, Kalila. Now take you. Now take you to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day onward. From this day onward. Regardless of life circumstances. Regardless of life circumstances. Come better or worse. Come better or worse. Come riches or poverty. Come riches or poverty. Through sickness or health. Through sickness or health. Or whatever life offers. Or whatever life offers. I promise you, Richard. I promise you, Richard. That I will always be there for you. That I will always be there for you. And I will love you always. And I will love you always. With God as our help. With God as our help. To the end of our days. To the end of our days. Amen. Amen. Richard brought this to us. Do you want it, Kalina? Yes. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Richard, from what I heard, she seems to be very anxious. So you'll make sure that you take her hand. Hold it firmly. Place the ring there on. All right. Looking straight at her. And then you'll say to her, Kalila. Kalila. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. And now I ask. And now I ask. That you will take and wear it. That you will take and wear it. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. My commitment. My commitment. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the, Son, and of the, Holy, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And you'll identify that ring finger. Place the ring thereon. And you will look at him and say to him, Now, Richard, talk to him now. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> this ring is yours. This ring is yours. I bought it. I bought it. <laughs> and now I give it to you. And now I give it to you. <laughs> Take it easy. Okay, looking at him, he will say, please wear it. Please wear it. As a sign. As a sign. And a symbol. And symbol. Not only of my love and loyalty to you. Not only of my love and loyalty to you. But as a, as a sign. But as a sign. To all and sundry. To all and sundry. That you are mine. That you are mine. Sir, you may kiss your bride. Yes. <laughs>
We were working in the emergency room together and he came home one day from a carnival party. Came to work right from the party. And he came and he said, Chongi, I think I found my wife. So I said, all right, cool. She meets all the criteria. She meets all of them. Never know you could get all of that information in one night. First of all, I'm gonna make some nice for the newlywed couple. <clears throat> Me and she spent a lot of time. They hang out from Belize City when we used to work the creme. I used to wipe down shells. She used to work on the radio. <laughs> she become journalist and uh, run the whole of the country, the host morning show and whole lot of thing. Then afterwards, one day she decided she and just up and left and go to Jamaica. I'd like, okay, cool. Um, give me your apartment, <laughs> and she did. Um, then I start go to Jamaica and go spend time with them, well her, and then then to meet. And well, it's just been one well, great pleasure to know two of them together and to see them to grow along with my legal Alexa. Is that Richard took my respect for him to a whole nother level in an unfortunate way, but it proved what we kind of saw, and that, you know, August 2014, am I right? Somehow my friend was eating an oxtail, right? And it didn't work. And oxtail always works. And he fell ill. And during this illness now, I'm saying, Richie, you know, keep us posted, let's know what's going on. And Richie says, boy, you know, it's, it's not really getting much better, but you know, it's okay, don't worry yourself. So I said, so what's the, what's the next treatment? He says, you know, I may have to do a, a bypass surgery, but you know, it's okay. I'm like, what? Are you mad? I mean, but it's okay. So I'm now freaking out in my mind, and he's like, don't worry. I've got this. And I'm saying, but now during the worst of times, he's still able to display that calm demeanor, that that, that leadership quality that I would say that he's a real big man. Good night, everyone. Very emotional for me. Because I almost didn't stand here today with my best friend. At the beginning of November, right after general election, I ended up in the hospital. I was sick for six weeks, and I couldn't disappoint my friend. I was supposed to be admitted for surgery, and I begged the doctor not to cut me until after I sta stand here today with my friend. When I got married three years ago, Kalila had no vacation, and she ended up in Belize for my wedding. So I had to stand here with my best friend. This is 20 years of loyal friendship, no matter what part of the world she is. We really give God thanks for every one of our 18 children. Guess what? 19, 20. Kalila, I love you. Alexa, 
my charming granddaughter. Bless your little heart. But Richie, I also love you. <laughs> and Kalila, I love you just as much. I have heard it said by many men that when the time comes for them to give up their daughter in marriage, it's always very difficult. And I can understand perhaps why that is so. Some men might in fact have um, the, the lack of confidence in their, in their daughters in making such decisions. But having known my daughter all of these years, Kalila, Excellency Enriquez, <laughs> I have absolutely no reservation, no compunction in saying to, that there is no such problem with me. Hubert Enriquez fully endorses Kalila Enriquez's decision. The Lord said to Adam, well, you know, yes, I realize that you are in fact alone. So I'm going to make you a companion. Adam says, okay, we'll call her woman. Is that right? She will do everything for you. You will want of nothing when I give you this companion. You will be in awe of her beauty. She'll prepare your favorite meal. She'll wash your feet when you come in, come in from work, from toiling in the fields. And all it will cost you is an arm and a leg. You know, I'm lonely, so I'm really going to need that companion. But what I could get for a rib? <laughs> for a companion like Kalila, I would gladly give up an arm and a leg. <laughs>